Cabinet Secretary, can I just begin with one uh, bit of clarification, if I may? Um, last week, uh, when we were in the chamber, um, uh, both at the time of your statement and then later at First Minister's questions, um, we raised the issue about the information that was in the Scottish Fiscal Commission data, which is in uh, tables and graphs uh, 4.3 and 4.7, which made a projected estimate for 2026-2027 of a £3.5 billion pounds hole in the public finances. Now, you seem to be implying that that was not a correct estimate from the Scottish Fiscal Commission data, and could I just ask you why? No, um, that's, that's not uh, my position. These are forecasts from the SFC. Um, the £3.5 billion, I believe, was um, is actually our figure published as well in December, and it was based on a number of assumptions. The point I was making in my answer to you and the First Minister's answer was we are now working with a resource spending review that is completely balanced. So it is factually inaccurate to suggest that the resource spending review is not balanced because I must balance by law. That uh, the, 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 um, the, the sort of gap between spending and funding based on the RSR framework, which was published in December, um, has come to the fore again in recent days. That projection was based on, for example, inflation at 3.7% um, and 2% thereafter. It was based on social care growth in line with the 2018 medium term financial strategy. It was based on a whole number of assumptions. And the resource spending review, in a sense, is the answer to um, a, a lot of these assumptions based on more accurate information. So I think what I'm very clear on is to suggest that there is a deficit in the resource spending review is inaccurate. So, these are based on forecasts in advance of the publication of the resource spending review. Right. So can I just be quite clear then that uh, did you use that £3.5 in your estimates uh, before the uh, financial uh, statement that you made or were you using a different figure? That those we, we don't we don't use figures like that. We we come at it from the position of the SFC updating their forecasts in the weeks in advance of the resource spending review publication, and we then have to balance our, our spending commitments um, between December and the SFC finalising their forecasts a few weeks ago. There has been so much change to suggest that we go back to December figures is, is just inaccurate. Sorry, can I just press you on this, yeah. uh, Cabinet Secretary, because it's absolutely vital to the policies uh, and the, you know, I think it's very helpful, may I say, that we've got a, um, a statement that looks over a longer period of time, which is the first we've had since uh, 2011. I think that's extremely helpful. But obviously, you, you are making your choices and setting your policy commitments um, based, I would hope, on um, you know, what you see as the accurate statistics. And what, what I want to know from you, um, given what you said last week, is... What do you think uh, we need to take into consideration that changes uh, that uh, statistic that the Scottish Fiscal Commission uh, produced relatively recently? I mean, this, this question is hugely important because it goes right to the heart of why, how, we, how we build a budget or resource spending review. Mm. The notion that I would base a May publication on December figures, considering all that's changed since then... Is, 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 is flawed. So if you look at the assumptions that underpinned our budget in December, the resource spending review framework in December, I can go through it. I can go through, it was SFC forecast for social security in December 2021. It was assumptions around pay growth. It was assumptions around health growth. It was assumptions around social care growth. It was assumptions around inflation. All of these forecasts have been updated, not by me, because it's not my job to forecast, it's the SFC's job to forecast. And the way that you build a budget or resource spending review is that you use the latest figures that the SFC provide me with, which they've now published, and I must balance my budget on the basis of that. So forecasts change constantly. Yes, I understand that, Cabinet Secretary. What I'm asking for, uh, you to tell us, because I think it is very important, just as you've uh, acknowledged yourself, is it... If these changes have all taken place, as you rightly point out, what is the figure that you are using for the black hole in the public finances? There is no black hole in public finances. Really? There is no black... I mean, this is, this is the most basics 
of a budget in this, that the Scottish Government sets. But it's not spending. a budget, Cabinet Secretary. You said that originally. This is not a budget. That Indeed, or a resource spending review. I, I, I don't know how else to explain the absolute basics of Scottish Government budgets, which are or resource spending reviews, which are that I must balance. I can only spend to the penny what I am predicted or forecast to either raise or receive. You cannot have a position in a resource spending review or in a budget where I'm overspending. That's why querying the Scottish Fiscal Commission's assumptions is so important, because they start with assumptions, they provide us with forecasts, and I only can spend what they enable me to spend. Well, put it, let's put it round another way. On what have you um, made your projections for the policy choices that you have set out to the committee this morning? What, what statistics are you using? OK, the SFC forecasts, which are largely based on either the UK government spending review and on tax and social security forecasts. 